Hello, I'm Jamie Smith. James Halliburton. Luke Squires. Jen Ming. Greg Ball. And I have been training for the past three years. <laughs> I enjoy parkour because it's something to do and uh, get to see all your mates, just chill and train. It's a fun thing to do, just come out and enjoy yourself. I like the sense of community because you can just come out with your mates and just have a laugh and train at the same time. You don't have to take the training seriously, you can just have a laugh and have fun with parkour. Back before I started parkour, I wasn't really confident in talking to people, nor was I as strong as I am now mentally or physically. I've certainly got a lot fitter, been able to do stuff that I didn't think I could have. Parkour has just helped me interact with people more, talk to people more, even new people that I don't know that well, and it's helped me gain more mental and physical strength. In general, it's just made my outlook a bit more positive. I think parkour has affected my life in great ways because it's you know given me a lot more confidence in everything I do. It's helped me to speak to people that I don't know more freely and it's helped me to overcome the challenges I may have in my life. Religion has affected my parkour because it's a way for me to get closer to God. It's a way that I can live for God in this way because the way that I act when I'm with my friends, with my free-running friends, I, you know, I can be an, an image for God, I can be an icon for Him. <laughs> I didn't really train parkour properly until we met up with the community. I mean, we, we knew the basics and we sort of knew the names of the moves, but we didn't actually start learning about things like touch and how to land properly, and we didn't really develop until we started training with the community. I remember way back, way back when I said I'd never want to see your face again Cause you are loving as you love somebody else Meeting the community and starting to train with them let me sort of meet all these new practitioners and much more developed styles of movements that sort of ended up influencing my own. When I first found the community and started talking to them and training with them, I realised how nice everyone was and how much they wanted just to help everyone to get better. And it just sort of made my movement mature really quickly and I ended up developing a style that I hadn't really explored before and developing new ways of moving, which was really nice. And everyone's really close, it's like a family almost. I'd highly recommend it.
I'd suggest that you find a club or a community close to you that does parkour and I'd, you know, I'd suggest you highly to go and join it. As well as training outdoors, we've got a couple of gym sessions that we can go to. There's the local one in Hemel, which is at the Sapphire School, Sapphire School of Gym. And basically, they're, they have the gym open just for a couple of hours, two or three hours for a small amount of money. And we can go and do what we want. Just, it's a good place to work on flips and the acrobatic stuff that's harder to do without a crash mat. However, you don't really want to just spend all your, of your time in the gym where everything's all soft and padded because you don't end up developing the technique that you need to land on concrete. And also you get used to a sprung floor, which is obviously no help because the rest of the world isn't sprung. Um, to the authorities, I'd just say, we're here to move around on the spots. We're not here to break anything because we need the spots to train on. And as far as I know, all the people in Hearts watch out for pedestrians and make sure we don't injure anyone. If someone of authority were going to approach me about free running a parker, I'd gladly and happily explain what I was doing. Um, I'd try and explain in the best words I can how this is actually quite safe for us to be doing, how we're trained in it, how we know exactly what we're doing and that this isn't a threat to ourselves or anyone around us.